Hello, it's Riley, Riley's Little Space, His Little Space, whatever you know me as. I am back here today with a brand new video because I wanted to film, so that's what I'm doing. And I know I just did a review, but I thought why not do another one since I just got a new onesie in the mail. So today's review is going to be on onesies down under. I am only reviewing their onesies because that's all that I have from them, but I feel like that's the main thing they sell, so that's okay. I have three onesies from them. This is the newest one. It is their Christmas onesie and it is the cutest little thing and I love it so much. And then I also have their cars and trucks onesie which they actually don't sell anymore but I think you can get a similar one on ABDL Marketplace but they don't sell the cars and trucks one anymore but I have it. And then I also have the space onesie. Now I will start off by saying I do love onesies down under and they are not paying me for any of this. I am not an ambassador for them. They are not supporting this in any way. Well, I'm sure they'll appreciate it, but they're not like paying me for any of this. These are all my like legitimate opinions of the products. For the quality that they are, which is really good quality, I really like the quality of these onesies. They're super stretchy and they're just overall great. For the quality of the onesies, I feel like they are very reasonably priced. The more expensive ones like this one and the space one are $30 USD and then their other ones are about $25 USD. The thing that gets you here is that if you're international, they are based in Australia is the shipping. The shipping is expensive if you want standard shipping. Express shipping is $40. Standard shipping is $20. So that's about the price of the onesie. But they now offer an economy shipping option, which is actually what I chose when I got this onesie. And it was really nice because I only paid $8 for the shipping and it did take about three weeks for it to get here. But for economy shipping, that's understandable. The difference between economy and standard is that economy takes longer, is less expensive, and does not have tracking. So standard and express shipping have tracking information on the packages when economy does not, but I feel like that's a small price to pay when you're getting such a great onesie and it's cheaper to ship. Also, the lighting is going so back and forth, I'm very sorry. Onesies Down Under does not have shoulder snaps, but I think that's kind of nice because a lot of their onesies can pass as like shirts. Like I know this one can, the space one can, and this one can, and honestly, I'm not discreet about it because I guess for me, it's not a kinky thing. So I do wear this one out as well. Honestly, I would wear any of their onesies out and about. They do have snaps in the crotch and they are their, their metal snaps, which I know a lot of other places use plastic snaps and the nice thing about it is that they are pretty strong so like you can tug and move and play around and they're not gonna come undone but when you do want them to come undone so you're pulling on it to get them to come undone they come out really easily which is really really nice they fit really well since they're stretchy and they fit well with or without a diaper on so whether you wear diapers or don't wear diapers as long as you measure and get the proper size you'll be fine now the ones that I'm wearing and the ones that I have are a 4xl which are the biggest size that onesies down under carries. I probably could fit into a 3XL. As you see, it's a little bit big up here, but I prefer it to be a little bit bigger because I don't like the pattern to like stretch out. And since I am a bigger person, I like having the pattern to like kind of stay intact. So I could fit into 3XL, but I prefer the 4XL. And I think it's all dependent on how you want your onesie to fit. Also keep in mind with onesies down under that they are an 18 plus company. So please do not buy from onesies down under if you are a minor or go on their blog or anything like that because they are are 18 plus so please respect that wait till you're 18 all of that good stuff these are honestly the most I think they're up there with baby pants on the most comfortable onesies that I've ever put on my body. Baby pants onesies are thicker, but I like how these are thin, so I feel like they'll be, they're like thin, but they're warm. So if you wear them winter, summer, whenever, they'll still be comfortable to wear. The sleeves on them are also like this, like they go down their long sleeve, not long sleeves, but they're longer short sleeves, which is really nice because it helps it pass better on a t-shirt and it's less babyish. And I prefer the longer sleeves in onesies and stuff because I have fat upper arms, so I like to cover those. I think, in my personal opinion, the sizing is kind of weird, but that could very well be because it's an Australia thing, or maybe that's just onesie sizing. But compared to like baby pants, I'm a large in baby pants, and that fits me perfectly. And I'm a 4XL in onesies down under, so large in baby pants, 4XL in onesies down under. It's kind of strange the way that they size it, but it works itself out if you measure correctly. But onesies down under, overall, 
10 out of 10 stars. The people who run Onesies Down Under are incredibly nice and the customer service is absolutely amazing. The products are really good quality and I do recommend them to pretty much anyone wanting to get an ABDL onesie. And I feel like even if you're just a little and not an ABDL and don't really love the whole like baby things, I feel like they're still really cute even if you're not and you can pair them with a cute skirt or short hauls and I love, I love, I love, I love wearing my Onesies Down Under onesies with my overalls and short hauls. It's the cutest thing. So keep in mind that you can do that. You can style them really cute and they are wonderful. Those are my thoughts on the onesies down under onesies. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Oh my gosh, my hair. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave some comments and video ideas of things that you would like to see me do down below. I love hearing all of your guys' suggestions and then going through and reading through and planning out those videos. You should totally subscribe because I'm gonna post videos frequently on here now. I know I've been gone for a while and I was gone on my main channel and my side channel too, but I've been going through a lot but I'm gonna start posting more frequently so if you want to subscribe here you can and the links to my main channel and my side channel which is like my vlogging channel are down below the content over there is not always little related but here it is so you can just subscribe and if you like my face you can go subscribe to the other ones all of my little social media is linked down below and on my main channels you can find my main social media I love you guys lots and I will see you soon